what I'm going to do is in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the lighted hitch cover. Um, obviously, this is for my Dodge, so I get the Dodge one. Um, I get the blacked out edition. It also comes in chrome. I'm sure it's like that for every other vehicle. You get the blacked out, you get the chrome one. Um, all you do is you take it, you can plug it right in to the uh, four pin, flat pin um, trailer hitch plug. Um, what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna show you how to do it, um, where you can't see it, obviously, on this, because uh, most of the newer trucks you're gonna get, it's gonna be on the face of the bumper. It's not gonna be the ones that come down on the bottom. So um, this is where I'm gonna show you how to install it without it being um, right there and being ugly. All right, so when you unbox it, you're gonna have multiple things. You're gonna have this just for a one and one fourth inch receiver hitch, um, preferably for like the smaller vehicles like SUVs. Um, and then this is the, the two inch hitch. Um, it comes with a set of screws. You're gonna need a long Phillips head. And so what you're gonna do is you flip it over on the back. If you look right in here, there's gonna be one, two, three, four screws. There's gonna be two um, screw holes um, at the base of these. And they're pretty much gonna fit right into the groove because there's a um, outline on the bottom of the two inch and the four inch. And make sure that the wire is in between them and it's just gonna connect just like that. And then you're gonna take your, your four screws and you're gonna put them right down the bottom and you're just gonna screw them right in. And so it's tight, you don't wanna over tighten it because it is just plastic you're screwing into. You wanna make sure you don't crack it. And once you've gone ahead and installed the receiver on the back of it, um, quick tip, it does get a little difficult to get it in there, but you wanna make sure that you don't tighten uh, one side before you install the other side because it's not gonna fit in the groove, it's not gonna seat in there well. So you wanna make sure that you can put it in there but make it a little bit loose, put the other side on, and then you can go ahead and do the same to the other and then tighten them all up at the same time. Now, a quick little tip, because it is um, a long uh, chamber, you're obviously going to need a longer screwdriver, a longer uh, Phillips. Uh, if it's magnetic, you're all set. You can put the lock washer on it, drop it in, and just go ahead. But if you're not, you can also tape it to the end of it, screw it in, and rip it off as well. Or you just go ahead, you do this, and you just feed it in that way, and you do it that way. That's a quick tip as well. So. Uh, once that's all set, this is going to be like a foam gasket. Um, you're going to rip, you know, clip out the ones that you don't need. That's the 114, so we don't need that. And you're going to take this, put it right over like so, and just slide it right against it like that. And you're going to take your 4-pin, 5-pin, you're going to slide it right through. And you're going to put that in like that. And it's going to come right out the bottom. Now, for those who have the pin coming down, you connect it right into like that. Um, but for me, I have right here, I have the brake light bar. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to splice right into my soldering job that what I did earlier, check my other video on how to do the brake light bar. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the, the pin off this and I'm going to pull this back out and I'm going to show you how to um, solder it right into place. You have the four pin flat pin um, on the face of the bumper. There's two clips on both sides here and here on the back side. Obviously you might have to wander the truck to get it. Um, it's, it's fairly easy to notice what it is. You're just gonna go underneath these two pins right on both sides like I said and just pop it right out and it's fairly easy. Um, the pins look like this um, on the back side. All you do is just pinch it and they flex right in. So um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna obviously take off the tape from the uh, that, that's on the back of this, take it off, and then your exposed is um, the job that I did here uh, for the brake light bar. For those of you who do not have the brake light bar, all you gotta do is you're gonna take a flat razor blade and you're just gonna uh, skim the plastic coating right off the wiring. Um, I'm gonna show you which wires um, goes to which and you're just gonna solder it right into it, just like that, and you're gonna tape it back up. You're gonna test it out before you put it all back together, um, and then you're good to go. All right, so if you wanna get rid of this big bulky thing, it's fairly easy, it's just two clips on the side, and it pops right out. It's suctioned in there pretty well, but that's out of the side, the big bulky thing, so you have more room. So, I took the tape off. Um, these are my soldering jobs. Don't bitch at me for it, please. Um, the blue is wax. Put wax on it to help prevent it, um, obviously, uh, from moisture getting there. Most of it came off, as you can tell, when I was um, taking the tape off it. So, um, your, your uh, white with your green is your right directional. Your orange with your white um, is your left directional. The brown wire is going to be your ground. And then the gray wire on the back is going to be your power wire. 
So now what you're gonna wanna do is, and if mine's not the same, what you wanna do is check out my other video, and it goes into a little bit more explaining how to find out which is which. Um, you're just gonna need a voltmeter. Um, you're gonna expose the wires, like I said. You don't even need to expose the wires. If you don't want to, you can do is you can just take and plug it right into the back, or you go into the front and plug it, and just start your probing. You know, go ahead and turn the right direction on and find out which is getting the power. As it's blinking and flashing, it's gonna go to zero, it's gonna go up, zero up, obviously, because it's getting power, and then not power, power, not power. So um, I'm going to just um, show, I'm just gonna just do the soldering job here for you. All you gotta do is just cut off the, the, the flat pin here um, and start your soldering and you're good to go. All right, so I had to step outside because I had the heater going on inside. So um, if you're not gonna tow with your truck, obviously you can leave that um, LED light uh, cover in there. But for me, um, obviously I'm gonna need to take it out um, at some times. So you're gonna to wanna to get a pigtail. So you're gonna cut off the single end right here, um, and then you're gonna solder that into the job that I'm gonna show you how to do. Now, you can get these anywhere, um, Walmart, uh, online, I got this off eBay, and what you're gonna do is solder it in, and then you're gonna take the, the pig, the, the end flat pin connector of the hitch cover, is gonna plug into this, and then this is just gonna be left alone um, for whenever, um, for whatever other use. You finish soldering up everything, check and make sure it works. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna tape it back up. Uh, you wanna tape, tape, tape this like um, like a fucking banshee, dude. You know what? You want it all all buttoned up nice. So after you've um, all set, finished, buttoned it up, taped it up, you're gonna put it back in. You're gonna test it one more time to make sure it works. Now, to help prevent theft with this, um, you can get the locking pin that goes right through the, um, the side of it. That's the best bet to do so no one steals it. Um, and then when you're gonna have to tow, obviously, you take the lock out. You, um, Undo it, connect it from the pigtail that you soldered in, um, and you're good to go. And you plug the trailer in, and you're off. Um, if you want to know how to install the brake light bar um, and how to in and solder it in like the way I did, um, check out my other video as well. Um, and we're going to show you how it works. You want to make sure what you do is when you, um, after you finish soldering, you're going to tape each individual one up separately. Primarily because you don't want the exposed solder or wire to be touching with each other because then it's just going to short something out or they're all going to go off at the same time. Um, after that, you want to you know, tape it up real good, put it back in, test it, make sure it works. Um, you're going to want to zip tight any loose wires up um, underneath the truck um, and you're good to go. Also, you want to make sure that you lock in that hitch cover as well as a reminder. Um, so I'm Steadfast2277. Um, check out my other video on how to install the light bar as well to go into depth. Also with that, um, take care, have a great day, subscribe.